Well, hello, stamping friends. This is Leslie with Loving Can Paper, and I have recorded, or I am recording right now, this video for you, um, because when I normally go live on May 30th at 7 p.m., I will be with my aunt, who will have had cataract surgery that morning, and so I am staying overnight with her and um, taking her to her follow-up appointment the next day. And so that's why you're getting this as a recorded video. But no matter whether you would have watched me live or if this is your very first time finding me, welcome. And I am excited to share this card idea with you. You may have even seen it around already. Okay, I've seen a couple of people do it. I've got a couple of different ways to do it. Um, the... Now, I've seen a couple of names for it, like a faux shutter card. I've seen fractured card. I've seen a couple of different things. So, and I've also seen it with lots of layers. Um, and then I found a little bit quicker and easier way to do it. So anyway, I'm going to share with you what I think is the quickest and easiest way. And I'm going to share um, a non-square idea with you. Okay, so um, let me, so this is using older retire. This was my trial. This was my, let's see if I can make this work. And it did. I was very pleased with the way this came out. Okay. All right. So let's set that aside. And I have some information. So let's do a square one first. Okay. This is stuff I'm actually going to do for a swap card. Um, I may not like myself very much later, but we'll see. So I've cut this um, piece of cardstock. So I have a car uh, crumb cake base, okay? And I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of my background, okay? And then I have, a uh, this is a two and a half inch square, okay? So as long as it fits this way you you can make it work okay so you're thinking well why do you want that on the same color you're gonna see now this does when you do your stamping because this will be your focal point you need to make sure that you're stamping with the cardstock held this way because that's how it's going on the card i'll show you that in just a second so let's get out um this is called um, Beside me, hang on, I have it right here. Yeah, it's called Beside Me. It was in the um, January to April mini, and now it has carried over, and it's got these great images and some really super um, uh, greetings, and we're going to use this Celebrating You today. Um, so I have the small one, the smallest image, cause that's what would fit. And I've got Knight of Navy ink that's going to match the, the strips that I'm going to use. Okay. So we're going to just make sure that's well inked and I'm going to move that out of the way so that I don't put my hand in it by mistake. And we're going to just stamp that on there like that. Okay, so now that that's clean and this is ready, let's do some layering. Okay, so this is going to go on. Here. Okay, and you're thinking, it's not going to stand out. It will. Just be patient. It will. I promise. Okay. And I'm looking for something. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I've got it. Okay, so I'm going to sort of eyeball that as close to... It's not exactly in the middle, top, bottom, but it's, it's in the middle, side to side. Okay. So then what we're going to do, I'm going to close this because 
I will have it everywhere. We're going to use these and we're going to use my silicone craft sheet, which I just had. Ah, got tucked underneath something. Okay. So the way you want to do this is you want to take your very skinny or any liquid glue, okay? And the first, here we go. Um, you, you can put it on the strip or you can put it on the, on the glue. I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm gonna just go right here. So to the edge of the blue square. I'm not going all the way up, but I am gonna let this one fall off, okay? I'm gonna turn it a little bit. And then this one, I'm, I'm actually going to eyeball and go this way. I'm going to do the glue right on the card. So I'm going to, it's going to butt right up against there. And then I'm just going to keep going. Okay. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to butt it right up against there. And I'm just going to cover that glue. Okay. Just like that. And we're going to turn it. And we're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to start right here. Like that. We're going to put this one right in here like that. Whoops, I squished a little of that glue out. I'll be able to get that off with my adhesive eraser in a minute. Okay. And then one last one. We're going to go here like that okay so now what you have is this thing that looks a little like a, a camera shutter okay um so i'm gonna put that back in there and then i'm going to use my scissors that i don't much care about and i'm just going to snip those off Okay. And I will tell you that you can't, you don't have to use, this was an experiment also. Um, I think I'm going to like it and I think I'm going to do it this way for my swab. Um, but the, um, You, don't, you can have this be plain, and you'll see that in my next card. Let me just grab this and see if I can get that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, now we have that, and so it looks like a shutter. Okay. Now, if you go a little smaller with your image, and you'll see that in the next one, it it looks a little bit more like that, kind of like it did in this one, where you get the, this part is longer, okay, because this piece is smaller. But I really wanted to use that image, um, so I did it that way. All right, so now, um, well, I can finish that one. Hang on. I'm going to get my Knight of Navy back out, and I've got the Celebrating You Today, and I have this piece of basic white, and so I'm going to just stamp that like that, and... I'm gonna clean that. We're gonna, oops, sorry. I do that a lot. It's not because I don't like you, it's just because I bump my head of just because of where that is and where I'm sitting. Alright, so let's put this on here. And there's that. We'll take my snips and just that, like that, 
and put that on a couple of dimensionals. And probably add some gems to that or something. Okay, but a nice masculine card could be a birthday, could be Father's Day, um, could be for a new dad, could be for a lot of things. Okay, let's tuck that over here. So what if you don't want to use a square? Okay, um, anything with straight sides will work. I haven't quite figured out the circle thing yet. These are retired, the beautiful shapes dies. So I used the hexagon. Okay, so I have a wild wheat base right here okay, and that will just get set aside for the moment and then out of this what will be our front layer okay I made um, I did mossy meadow okay and I cut out the, the bigger hexagon and then I cut a smaller one now I think I'm gonna like this tone on tone, and I just wanna, I'll probably pop that up, but let me show you what is going to happen with all of that. All right, so let's grab my craft sheet again. And this time, since I don't have anything in there, I'm just gonna go along these edges, and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before, okay? So I'm going to line up here like this. Okay. And then I'm going to turn it and we're going to line up over here uh, that's gonna have to yeah that's gonna need a little bit of a trim there okay so you're just gonna have to for these you're just gonna have to do an approximate 45 degree angle cut. No big deal. All right. Um, except that I cut that on the wrong. Yeah, I cut that on the wrong one. Let's see. Oh, that's better. Okay. All right. Okay. And just two more. Um, hang on. I think what I can do is just... off those. I was looking for one that might be 
the right angle here. Not quite. Uh, let's dry it up a little bit. Let's just add a little bit more glue. There we go. Okay. And then this last one here. like this and then we'll just cut this off here like oh I want to go all the way out there we go all right so now we have all of our strips on like this so we have that fun Shape. Okay. And then you can add um, designer series paper into these places. You can just tuck it right up in there. And um, that would make for a really fun card. For this one, I'm just going to kind of leave it as is, put that on there. Okay, so we'll add this. And there. So let's see, let's do a thinking of you. I think this will fit just right. And we'll just stamp it in black, memento black, okay. Like that. And we'll put this up on dimensionals. here and then I stamped with the layering leaves this is Rachel Tessman's um, million dollar set and she designed it to coordinate with this punch that we've had for a little while called the bow punch or bow b-o-u-g-h you know that thing on a tree a bow I guess is really what it is the bow of the tree so there are all these great stamps that you can use super greetings and I love the, the pretty fonts and so what I'm gonna do is just tuck I stamped them in copper clay and then punched them out with the punch and then I'm just going to put those in there I think and then I may actually get out my uh, in color designer series paper and do a little bit. I may not do all of the places, but I may do a little bit. Um, I'll leave this one there and, um, and add 
some little um, gems and things to finish it off. But just so that you guys could see how to do a, a square or some other shape. Okay, so we have this one with the bigger square. We have this one that was my trial. And then we have this one that I will finish up shortly. Okay, so again, I will, I will and I will finish this one, even though the, the uh, designer series paper is retired. And I will put the um, measurements, if you want to do um, this size card, I will put the designer series paper measurements and the, the square size in the comments. Okay, so thanks so much for joining me and I wish you well and see you next time. I will be live again on June the 6th. Hope to see you then. Thanks. Bye-bye.